I just got two new molds from Do It Soft Baits. This first one here is called a Swim Toad. It has a nice, nice um, planing body shape. It, it should orient upright, you know, every time there. I made this with floating soft plastic. It's actually an additive that you um, that you mix into your plastisol, real powdery, fluffy stuff that you add in before you heat up the plastic. trying to launch today at Thompson's Boat Center Northwest DC and this is proving to be very difficult. Uh, there's three hour only parking near the boat center and I'm looking today at what looks like a race or some huge event going on and uh, I don't know there is no parking here so I'm gonna park somewhere in Northwest DC on the road after dropping off my boat. See if I can get out of here. It's a tight squeeze. This is the first. I gotta tell you, so far I would not recommend this. The staff at the boathouse was not very hospitable. Um, seemed like they are very upset that I was even there um, even though I did call ahead and ask what it cost to launch a boat maybe he's just stressed out because of the event it's a pretty area Yeah, they got some sort of race. I'm obviously in the way, but whatever. Paid my paid my launch fee. Let me go catch some fish. the way up at the top as far as I can go trying to catch these shad that I see and uh, throw on my little panfish lure my stinger wets it and look who grabs hold. I think it's a white perch. You guys like white perch? You want white perch? Yeah, two guys bank fishing up here. You 
You want them? Okay. Just throw them up there. This buddy. You gonna use them for bait, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna use them for bait. JT, you, you can't. Rocks? Huh? You get rockfish all the way up here? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Rock. You guys get snakehead up this way? Yeah. Hey, do you get snakeheads up this way? That guy's big right there. That's oh. snake that king right there, man. Yeah. That's snake that king. They eat well. Good luck, guys. I've got the new frog rigged on a confidence baits screwed up hook. It's just a the same five out hook that we use in our uh, our five out finesse jig hook. And then we got a screw lock on there so that you can put your frog right on there. It's good for frogs, flukes, all kinds of stuff. Anything that you don't want weight on. I'm tying the braid directly to this. I'm not using a leader. I don't want any any weakness in this system or any you know failure points in there. Because uh, I am throwing this frog back into some real thick cover, so I definitely want to winch it back out. I'm using a, uh, a St. Croix Premier spinning rod that's a 7 foot 6 medium heavy. Um, the reason I go with a spinning as opposed to bait casting for this sort of winching is I still like to, the ability to skip the soft plastic frog up underneath branches and stuff and I haven't quite figured out how to do that with a bait caster yet. I like to keep my rod tip high on the retrieve. That does two things. It, uh, it keeps the frog planing on the surface and keeps those, you know, the, those flapping feet making a lot of noise. It also delays my hook set. It, it's really hard to not immediately go into a hook set. Uh, you have to have a, a good amount of restraint to just wait for the weight. But in case I don't, having my rod tip high is sort of a little bit of built-in uh, delay. That one he had it. He had it under and he ripped the foot off so I gotta put a new one on there. But I did. I waited for the weight. I could feel that it went under. He just didn't have the business in. Oh well. That's why I made a bunch of them. audience here. I think there's a few more in there. Go ahead and get this guy back. Huh? Yep, thanks. See you guys. nice 17 incher doing the same thing as the last one I think I got a bunch of fish right on the back side of this little wall this row of old pilings that I'm sure was put here at some point to uh, 
retain the banks of Rock Creek. I've got something in common with this little creek. It's Rock Creek for which Rockville, Maryland, my hometown is named for. So it began in Rockville, and so did I. idea what I just hooked into. It's big though. Oh, it's huge. is my only real workable pattern up here. I think there's there's got to be others, but this is the one that's working for me today, is dropping that pack across on a dragon head or the finesse jig right next to these old submerged, and they, they look like bridge pilings, but I think they're, they were at one point retaining walls for the sides of the creek, which I think it's eroded on, you know, the bank side of things. And, I'm dropping it down right next to it. I can see the tops of the, the pilings and dropping it straight down. I'm following it down with my rod tip because that's where I'm getting bit as it's dropping. And I lift it up, move it a little bit and drop it right back down next to the, the next one. You don't want to do it on slack line because you'll get bit and you'll have no idea. So just follow it down with your rod tip. When they're biting, they're only you know, four or five feet away from me. Straight down. Hey, you got a cool kayak right there, man. Thanks. I've never seen one like this. You got your fishing, everything on there. Fishing rods. Yeah. So how, that, that's the motor or? Yeah, the motor, we got a battery, lithium battery. battery lithium right battery. There. Yeah, okay. Does a nice job in terms of holding the long, the long charge. Right. Called a torquedo. Torquedo, yeah. <coughs> you fish out here at all? Huh? You fish out here at all? Well, actually not. You don't really supposed to, but some, some, some guys do sometimes right here. This is long side here. Caught a big old. Uh, Big mouth bass, yep. about this big, wow. about this wide. That's cool. 
Man.